Guess who starts puppy classes today? It's you! You start them. You're doing the puppy classes today, sir. You're gonna go and you're gonna meet puppies and you're gonna meet people and you're gonna learn how to do things that you're supposed Don't fall asleep on me while I'm talking to you. You're so rude. Just the rudest. I love you. I love you. He weirdly smells like Cheerios today. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. But I was cuddling him and I went, you smell like a Cheerio. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. But yeah, he has puppy classes today. I was gonna film a bunch of videos yesterday, but then Colleen asked me to go over to her house for a pool party. And I was like, okay, I'll just film when I get back. And then when I got back, I took my dog on a walk and he pulled away from Matt, Matt like he was, the dog does this. He's really good on walks. And sometimes he'll smell something in the grass and he'll do the little like, pounce back and forth thing and then you hold on to the leash tight because then he tries to run away and not out of like run away from me but just like he smells something he got really excited and he wants to run yesterday matt was walking him and he didn't give that warning of like oh, i'm excited he just literally was like trot 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 boom, and ran and so matt wasn't holding the leash tight enough because the dog didn't give a warning of it so we learned to hold the leash tight all the way all the time so the dog just took off and Matt was like Bah! So I bolted and I chased the dog two to three blocks. I, we were sprinting. I don't think I've ever run that fast, that long, and that hard before. <laughs> I bought the dog a brand new water bottle dispenser thing. It was my first walk with it. I was all proud of it because he got little sips of water because it's been so hot out when we walk, even though we walk at like 8 p.m. It's still like 90 degrees. So I had this water bottle thing and I tried to chuck it at him at one point because he was so far ahead of me that I, I didn't think I'd be able to catch up with him. And all I could think about was he's gonna hit the, like the next block, which is a super busy block. And he's gonna cross the street and a car is gonna hit him. That's all I could think about. So I chucked my brand new water bottle at him. It landed right next to him. And usually he gets scared of loud noises and he just kept going, wasn't phased. It broke my water bottle, <laughs> I kept sprinting and finally caught up to him and I stomped on his leash and he went flying backwards. So that that was fun, that was, that was great. Uh, and then he just laid on the ground like he just had the best time of his entire life. And I laid on the ground panting and like we were both a mess and then Matt <laughs> walks up to us like a few minutes later because he was so far behind us with the broken water bottle. <laughs> I was like, I'm oh, sorry. He showed me his finger. The dog like ripped off his fingernail with the leash. It was an exciting walk, educational. But when I got home from that, I was sweating because again, it was 90 degrees outside. So I was sweating like crazy. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna film at nine. I'm gonna film at nine. So after I calmed down and a nine of one hit, and all the power went out. So I had so many intentions to film yesterday, but I didn't because so many things kept happening. So I'm going to film today, also go to his puppy class. Also, Colleen is having a pizza dinner party at her place at five. A full day. I should probably stop sitting here talking to you. I also have to edit and post a vlog. So that's that. And I also have to work out tonight. I've got a lot of things to do. I also need to go to Target. <laughs> that one is gonna slip right in there. All right, buddy, you ready for puppy class? Are you ready for the puppy class? I realized today, I'm about to go hang out with a bunch of puppies. <laughs> Screw teaching him anything. I'm just gonna go to hang out with a bunch of puppies. I'm so excited. Blaze, are you gonna have so much fun with all the puppies? You don't even know what you're in store for. Ah, oh, this is gonna be wonderful. My dog was potty trained. Was being the key word here. So, he was 100% potty trained. He always peed and pooed outside. He'd wait by the glass door, we'd let him out, he'd go to his business. Then all of a sudden, the last two days, he's decided the gym is his own personal toilet. I don't understand what's going on. He doesn't go to the back door anymore. The only time he pees outside is if we like, I'm like, okay, it's been an hour since your last pee, get on out there. I don't know what's going on, I'm like re-potty training him. The thing is, he's never pooped inside, unless he had like diarrhea in his crate in the middle of the night. But like, he's always pooped outside, and for some reason, He's pooping inside! And I'm like, it's not even that hot anymore. What is your issue, dog? I'm getting very frustrated about it. So, uh, this is my dog's tooth. <laughs> so the trainer told me to get him a bully stick. There's a boo your boo boos Hi, buddy. Anyway, he's eating his bully stick, and then you can see there's a little blood droplet on his paw there, right there. 
But there was a tooth standing next to it. I always thought bully sticks were for adult dogs, and she said it helps with their teething. Well, for him, it's pulling his teeth out. But he just loves it so much, I don't want to take it away from him. He's a good boy, Stick. You're such a good boy. Good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. I do need to take it away from him in like five minutes. He's only supposed to get it like in 10 minute increments. I just made that up. I just don't want him to be obsessed with it like he is. Dude, how are you chewing it when you just lost a tooth? A tooth just fell out of your mouth. There is blood on the bully stick. How are you still chewing it? No answer, just gonna keep on doing it? Your little gums hurt? Is that why? My dog lost his tooth. Evotal. I'm at the eye doctor right now. My yearly checkup, prescription renewal. Wearing contacts is so much fun. At my eye doctor's appointment, I found out that I was wearing this ancient brand of contact lenses. Uh, and basically, this was a new doctor. It's like the same facility, and I usually switch between like these two doctors that are always there. But today, there was this new girl that I'd never, well, she's a lady, uh, an older woman. <laughs> um, anyway, I'd never seen her before, and she was amazing and way better than any of the other ones I've had there. She was more focused on the health of my eyeball instead of like what my prescription was, which is usually what it is. Usually you go in they're like, just wanna make sure they have the right prescription. But she was like obsessed with the health of my eyeball and was like, okay, listen, the contacts you're wearing don't let any air through to your eyeball because you wear them so long, all of the veins in your eyes are getting bigger and thicker and basically if you keep this up and you don't switch to a better brand of contact, you soon won't be able to wear contacts anymore or just basically go blind <laughs> like neat so i switched to this new brand i'm wearing them right now they seem okay i've tried to switch before in the past uh i didn't like it things looked weird but things seem to be looking normal so this is good i also need to get uh better glasses because my glasses are from two years ago which was two prescriptions ago so they're a little off and also very much broken so i think t maybe tonight but probably tomorrow i'll go get new glasses i don't really like wearing glasses they annoy me they hurt my ears and you can't wear them when you work out when you sweat they start stripping down your nose and i know everyone that doesn't wear glasses wishes they could wear glasses because it's fashionable guys it's freaking annoying and don't don't do that it's rude